Fahren Sie mal schnell zum Rübenfeld bei der Zuckerfabrik. Bei den Coudron abgeschossen. Sehen Sie noch die Besatzung? Wenn Sie Offiziere sind, laden Sie die Herren zum Gabelfrühstück ein. Jawohl, Herr Rittmeister. Herzlichen Glückwunsch, Herr Rittmeister. Musik! With the euro in crisis and economies across the continent teetering on the brink, the ideal of European unity seems to be in some trouble these days. That dream and the problems with it are the theme of Jean Renoir's 1937 film La Grande Illusion. J'ai été amené dans la bagarre d'une drôle de façon. Si je suis soldat, tenez-vous bien, c'est parce que je suis végétarien. The film takes place during World War I. It concerns a group of French officers imprisoned by the Germans and plotting their escape. There's Captain Boildieu, who comes from an old aristocratic French family, Lieutenant Rosenthal, a wealthy Jewish Frenchman, and a working-class Parisian named Lieutenant Maréchal, played by the greatest French movie star of his time, Jean Gabin. The man holding them captive, although in many ways he's a very gracious host, is Captain von Raufenstein, a German officer played by the German filmmaker Erich von Stroheim. Boildieu and von Raufenstein are men of equal military rank, which gives them a certain bond, but they're also linked by the kinship and social networks of the European aristocracy. Their camaraderie makes you wonder, what does it mean that these two men who are enemies in war have more in common with each other than with the other men on their own sides? A scene like this suggests that national differences are hardly worth fighting over, and the movie goes on to suggest pretty much the same thing about class, ethnicity, and political ideology. What's ironic, of course, is that just two years after this film was finished, Europe was at war over all of these things. But that only serves to make Renoir's anti-war message more powerful and more relevant. It's amazing how it still resonates to this day, because the film says that these categories, race, class, ethnicity, religion, nationality, are not what matters, are not what has value. What matters is the individuality of each person. Renoir is often described as one of the great humanists of world cinema. That's a word that has a certain implication of high-minded, abstract, maybe soft-headed sentimentality. Underneath it all, we're all the same, and why can't we all just get along? But as an artist, Renoir was not really motivated by abstract concerns about humanity. As a filmmaker and as a storyteller, he's motivated, above all, by concern with, curiosity about, and profound sympathy for his characters, by an interest in people. The film abounds in so many wonderful moments of humor, of warmth, of sensuality, of surprise, that make you realize that anything more abstract is really little more than an illusion. It's drôle, hein? Tu trouves pas que ça fait drôle? 